Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Loving Little Learners. I wanted to show you all exactly how I am using Google Sites to create my classroom website for this year of virtual learning. So I also wanted to show you how I can incorporate so many of the Bitmoji classrooms that I've come across or have made so far. This is what my classroom looks like on the homepage. And I decided to break it down into two portals, a student portal and a parent portal. So keep in mind, this website is still completely under construction. As I get more information of how the year will go, um, I will make changes and adjustments to this website for my students. So far, if you click on the student portal, we have a couple of different areas. First, our classroom websites, um, our classrooms, our Bitmoji classrooms, and then different video lessons that I will be creating throughout the year. Okay, um, from this site or from this page, you can click on any of these links to take you to the page, or you can use a drop down list. So let's go to our websites. This is basically all of the websites that we'll be using in class this year. And it's all listed on one page for all of our students to access. Our classrooms are used here um, on the classrooms page. And these are all of the Bitmoji classrooms that we've made. And I'll show you how to input these in in a second. Um, but basically I have our alphabet classroom, numbers classroom, and iReady's classroom, and I'll keep inputting more. If I go back, I'll have my ELA lesson videos, math videos, and so on that you can, they can play straight from this um, page or they can open up into YouTube. If I go back to my home screen, I can choose to access the parent portal instead, or I can just use the navigation bar up top. Um, in the parent portal, the home page is going to have access to our Bitmoji classroom homepage where they have different resources available to them as a parent. Um, and I can also show you how I inserted a form for our students to, our, our parents to fill out about information on contacting them and their family. So this form is built right into the Google site, which is amazing. I don't have to keep paper copies of student surveys or forms. And then I also will input all of our monthly newsletters um, for each month of the year. They can access it through this screen. And as I create them, they'll be inputted here. We have our monthly goals that they can, both parents and students can refer to by clicking on the month that we are in. So our kindergarten goals for August are as follows. Okay, and then I also have my Meet the Teacher video, which I have made on my site, Loving Little Learners, my YouTube channel, and you can access it there, as well as the tutorial on how to make it, and they can play it right from the Hi, screen. everybody. Welcome to... And lastly, I have our daily schedule. And this is just a template because I'm not exactly sure how our day-to-day -day will look right now because we're still deciding on... Um, different details of the hybrid model we're going into. So those are all of the different tabs that I have on my classroom website for my both my students and my parents. And we're gonna show you what it looks like if you are creating this website. So when you're in the editing mode, you have these different options here to the right. You can insert different elements into each page um, through a text box, an image, you can embed a video. Um, or a link, and then you can also input from straight from your drive, which is really useful for inputting all of the Bitmoji classrooms. There's different layouts that you can choose from along with a list of other options um, for buttons, YouTubes, placeholders, image carousels, so many different things. Your slides can be inputted straight here, and then here's that forms option that I use for that student contact. Um, you can also see pages here and this is going to give you a breakdown of all the different tabs that I have. From here you can make sub pages, add a sub page here, make this a home page, duplicate. So it's super user friendly and easy to make. You can also go through the already made themes to change it and then once you choose a theme um, you can 
adjust the color scheme that you'd like as well. Um, when you are in a page, you can change how your headers look by choosing header type here. And I can choose a cover photo, a large banner, or title only. This is the title only view. This is what it would look like if I had the banner view. So you can go back and forth depending on what you'd like. If I go over to my, let's find our classrooms page. I can insert a new classroom by going to insert here. And I'm gonna go up to my drive. From my drive, I'm going to find the next classroom that I want to insert. And before I do that, I would like to keep the same format. So I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate this section. And from here, I can delete or edit this area and insert the new classroom that I'd like. So let's choose a small group classroom. And then just go ahead and insert. And I can add it here, edit the wording, and edit the details. So then my students can access their small group class straight from this website page. So it's really user-friendly, super to do, super easy to do, and to um, adjust to however you'd like it. You can um, edit your forms, surveys, whatever you'd like. You can input different charts, anything that you can do on the Google platform. It's so easy to insert within this classroom, and um, it makes it good to have a hub for your parents and your families to access everything that you want them to um, since we are going to be um, going and teaching in these digital models we don't want our parents to feel overwhelmed with a bunch of different resources and bookmarking pages and things like this so i definitely suggest making a classroom website and i've tried wix i've tried other things and Google Sites is just the easiest one to do. You can make it as simple or as complicated as you'd like. And like I said, it's super user friendly. So there's my classroom and I hope you enjoy. Please feel free to ask me any questions in the comment box below. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Loving Little Learners, for more videos to come. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed this video.